Hey, what's up? Ow. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? Pat Flynn here, episode 34 of SPI TV. And today we're gonna be talking about affiliate marketing again, but I'm actually gonna walk you through. We're gonna do a screen flow recording. I'm gonna turn around in just a sec and show you how I've been able to, to promote a brand new product that I've promoted over the past uh, couple months and how I've been able to do it without actually being super aggressive with it. I think one of the cool things about affiliate marketing is that you can start to build a library of products that you can promote without having to send launch emails every single time and actually wear out your audience. So I'm gonna walk you through how I do that. That product that I've been promoting is ConvertKit, which is a brand new email service provider that I've uh, really fallen in love with. I talked about it last month in uh, in all the SPI TV episodes, or a lot of them. And I'm gonna talk about the results of how I've been able to promote that uh, right now. So here we go. All right, so what you're looking at right now is the back end of what's called Ambassador. You can check it out at getambassador.com. But it's essentially the affiliate program that ConvertKit uses to manage and run its affiliate program. It allows affiliates like myself who promote this product there's a number of different products that use this particular program, but it allows me to check out my earnings reports and see how the clicks are going and all those sorts of things. It gives me some good stats and whatnot. So you can see here that I started promoting ConvertKit essentially in the month of October. I teased it a little bit beforehand, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and why I did that and how I did that in a little bit. But you can see that in just essentially a month of promotion, I've been able to generate a significant amount of income by promoting this product, and uh, the fact the matter is that the affiliate earnings are anywhere between $8.70 and higher, depending on what level people join up at. So there's a significant amount of users here. And the cool thing about something like ConvertKit is it's a software and it's a recurring income. So this is only going to grow over time unless the churn is greater than the number of new users, which I doubt is going to happen, especially at the rate at which ConvertKit is growing. So... I wanna kinda of give you a history of how I've been able to promote this. Of course, before I started promoting it, I tested the product and I actually talked about how I was testing this product. First, in a YouTube video that was done back in August. Again, I said that I started to promote this heavily and with confidence in October, but it was back in August, two months prior, that I started to introduce this tool and say that it was something that I was testing. And actually, it was this particular video here at the bottom, you were in YouTube in my video editor, uh, my video, uh, library right now, but this video right here on the bottom, Inside Email Marketing, new tool, new direction, new copy. And I believe it was over a thousand people who watched that live on Periscope, and because there were that many people, and I knew what I was doing here, this was part of an overall long-term strategy, I decided to record the replay of that and then post that here on YouTube, and this has been viewed 5,000 times. So in addition to the 1,000 that were watching on Periscope within that 24 hours before it gets taken down, an additional 5,000 people have watched it, and they get an idea of why I'm potentially getting into involved with this particular tool. I talked about it, and I didn't share an affiliate link there because I wasn't comfortable doing that yet, but I had just teased the idea of that. Then from there, I talked about it a little bit more uh, in a later podcast episode, I or a, letter, a later video uh, in Periscope. I talked about it again almost a month later, probably a few weeks later, in this particular video here, which is called Initial Results, My Email Segmentation Tests. So this starts to get involved with some of the advanced features that ConvertKit offers for people who are interested in my particular niche about email marketing, who are all, you know, most people in my niche are, and it was the number one thing that people wanted to learn about in the recent survey they conducted. But again, I wasn't sharing the affiliate link there. I was only mentioning that this was a tool that I was using and I was sharing the results. That's one of the best things you can do when you pro promote a product as an affiliate is Two things, one, show the insides of that product, what it looks like, which is what I did on that live Periscope. And the cool thing about the Periscope is you get that live feedback and I got validation that this is something that people wanted. I got validation while doing these experiments and just showing people what I was getting involved with and what I was potentially going to promote if it worked out. I got to see what people liked about it and what people enjoyed about it so that I can make sure to talk about those things in the future. And the second thing you could do to promote an affiliate product is share the results, and that's what I did exactly in that episode. Not as many people watched as you can see here. I don't think I actually sent that one out in an email like I did with that other one. And then a whole month went by, August, and SPI TV was all book review-related uh, stuff. And then in September, actually, no, excuse me, September was all about email marketing, not October, I'm sorry, but September was all about email marketing. Ah, no, I see what happens. So I can see that all of these 
dates are exactly the same, September 8th, September 8th, September 8th, September 8th. These were videos that I batch process and give to uh, gave to Caleb to edit. So he uploaded these in September. They were not published until October, which was deemed email marketing month on SPI, um, on SPI TV and on the SPI log. And again, it was October that I started to go heavy with it. Now, I also did a number of things. First, I included a link to this resource on my resource page. So if you go to resources here on my website, you'll see that there's a number of different recommended tools. And right here at the top, I recommend ConvertKit. Again, this is at the point at which I'm comfortable recommending this. I've teased it a little bit. I've validated that this is something that my audience wants. I've validated it for myself and the fact that it got me results. And so I'm happy to share it here on this resource page. You should absolutely have a resource page. And here at the very top of your resource page, you put your top tools and ConvertKit is something that all people who are starting an online business should and get should get involved with if they want um, some some very smart email marketing software beyond including it on your resource page and of course you want to keep track of how many clicks people are going through uh, or how many clicks this particular link gets which you can use a pretty link plugin or through wordpress to keep track of it or there are other tools that allow you to do that but that just helps you understand whether or not people are clicking on it on your resource page but my resource page is the number one most profitable page on my website and i know that because i've tested it with my bluehost uh link which is the top e uh excuse me a uh, hosting company that i recommend but this is the email service and it's right here at the bottom of the top recommended tools here and beyond the resource page i also mentioned it in several blog posts. So if we go back into the archive, I'm gonna scroll down into October and talk about how I was able to share this over time in different ways. So the first time was on October 2nd. I actually did not even mention ConvertKit. I essentially established the fact that I was going to be talking about email marketing on this particular month. And People saw ConvertKit in this video because this was an SPI TV episode that was published on October 2nd. This is a video. People saw ConvertKit, but I didn't mention it. I just sort of breezed over it because I didn't want to heavily promote it right from the start. But going back, the next post I wrote was called How to Train Your Subscribers to Open Your Emails Every Time You Send. And in this particular blog post, I don't believe I did uh, any mentions of ConvertKit too because, again, I just wanted to establish that I was providing value and that I knew about ConvertKit. However, I didn't mention it in this post, but I did give away a lead magnet. And this was part of a secondary strategy to get people into ConvertKit and also get people onto my email list. So I created a lead magnet, a particular lead magnet that was specifically for this quote, email marketing month. And this was called Email the Smart Way. So if you click on this, you could download it this way. Or if you go to emailthesmartway.com, this is what you see. And here you can sign up you can do this right now if you haven't gotten this guide already. Enter your name and email. You can download it. And this is what it looks like. Email the smart way. And it's a guide. It's a playbook of email archetypes, essentially a number of different templates you could use because building an email list is one thing, but knowing what to send is another. And this is the part that most people leave out, which is what to send. And that's what this ebook is about. So no matter what content I'm talking about, if it relates to email, I'm going to plug this lead magnet. This has already increased the number of subscribers who have subscribed through convert kit to my email list. But beyond that on, I don't remember what page, let me find it on page uh, 21. I mentioned convert kit. And I have a link here. Now I do have a disclaimer elsewhere in this book saying that the links on or in this ebook are potentially affiliate links. But this is an affiliate link for convert kit right here in this ebook. So although in this particular blog post, I didn't mention convert kit specifically, there is a way for people to go and get access to it. So what I'm starting to do now is drop in these different places on the website along this journey in hidden, not even really hidden, but kind of different kinds of ways. I'm cross-pollinating the promotion of ConvertKit. So already here, what, what date is this? Uh, this was October 5th. On October 5th, I've already had a video that mentions emailthesmartway.com and also this particular blog post, was, which does not highlight ConvertKit itself, but gets people into email the smart way. And again, ConvertKit is mentioned there, and I believe it's mentioned one else, uh, one place else too, uh, or another place too. So that's been working out really well. I also mention it in a number of other blog sub, uh, subsequent blog posts that come after that. So actually, I do a demo, and this has been by far the top converting tool that I've been using to get people into ConvertKit. It's a demo. This is an SPI TV 
YouTube video. It's also an iTunes podcast, episode 28 in iTunes in the SPI TV video podcast. And this is a video that's embedded in a blog post. So there are multiple ways that people can get access to this demo. And this is, of course, because it's a demo, I mention it in later videos and later blog posts where I say, hey, I use ConvertKit, click here to get this demo. And this is more than just sharing a link. This is the top strategy you can use when it comes to affiliate marketing. You are sharing an actual demonstration because like I said earlier, when you show people the insides of things, they get more excited. And also, as you can see here, I'm sharing proof. This is when I started using email the smart way. You could see that big bump there. I talk about that in that video and that gets people excited and then they get to want to use those same tools. So using ScreenFlow or Camtasia Studios if you're on a PC is a great thing to do to show the insides of those tools that are using when you're doing affiliate marketing. And of course, I mentioned email the smart way here too and people will then get access to the mentions in this particular ebook if they haven't gotten that already. I also mention and allow people to get access to these links in multiple different ways through email broadcasts. So on my email list, I've sent a few things. For example, I'm looking for one here. Pat's new ebook, Email the Smart Way. This was sent to 132,000 people. And of course, it gets people to download Email the Smart Way. And I kind of did my existing subscribers a favor. I just sent them a link directly to download it, which was okay. And you know, they didn't need to resubscribe because they were already subscribers. So I just sent it to them directly. But again, what happens? They open that ebook and they see a link for ConvertKit there. So that's so many instances of people going through who are already subscribed, going through this particular ebook and getting access to that link, which then converts potentially into an earning for that affiliate product. There are also other parts of my broadcast that I mention posts and videos. For instance, let me see, when was this ConvertKit? A demo published October 9th. So every week I publish a digest. So a weekly digest 10.4 to 10.10. I publish this to people who have said and have given me permission to send them weekly digests, which are summaries of the content that I published the previous week. And here should be the ConvertKit demo. So right here, I also share the ConvertKit demo right in the middle of this email too. So as you can see, I'm giving my audience multiple ways to get ConvertKit in front of them, but I'm never blatantly mentioning go get ConvertKit. The only thing that is remotely like that is that demo video. There's a con uh, ConvertKit demo video that was published uh, here in October, the ConvertKit demo that was mentioned here in this email, and also it was the blog post here too. Now, one other thing that I wanna mention that I did that has worked out really well to get people at least to notice and get uh, just attention to what ConvertKit actually is, is I wrote a blog post. It was fairly controversial, just controversial because there's a lot of people who feel very strongly about certain tools versus others. And I wrote this post called Why I Switched from Aweber to Infusionsoft to, to ConvertKit. And that's very important because it talked about the reasons why I moved away from some of these tools that other people use and, and why I am now using ConvertKit. And I'm not trying to convert you into ConvertKit right now. I'm just trying to share with you that if you can share with people why you use a particular product and where you came from, and if they came from the same place and they can see the benefit and the reasons why you went there and if it, if it makes sense for them, they're gonna be likely to want to follow your journey too. Of course, especially if you can share those demos and the insides of that product and also the proof too. So that's that. That's how I've been able to promote uh, ConvertKit and I am utilizing that, that same strategy for a number of other products too. That's how I utilized and have done very well with Bluehost because over time, I just continue to mention it in various blog posts and places and videos and uh, podcast episodes and there is pretty much, if people spend any time on my site, they're eventually going to find their way into one of those links. And it's never done in a very aggressive, in-your-face way. It's just a, oh, by the way, Pat is using this product and he happens to mention it here. I'll go check it out. And if you are able to provide value to your audience, they're gonna wanna go through those affiliate links. And that's how you win with affiliate marketing.